Hey guys, Dave here. So I wanted to, uh, you guys know what time it is when you see the stickers, man. Got the uh, Stars and Stripes, Tough Thumbs. Gotta love that one. Definitely, I'm probably put. I'm gonna put that one on the truck, I think. Yeah, I like white, you know, on the truck. The truck's white, so, and then black. But uh, yeah, just cannot be uh, more impressed with uh, the man's work. Uh, just so sick, man. It's just unbelievable how sick it is. I uh, just cannot be more impressed with uh, every little thing that I got. Uh, he did forget to send my BK2. That's fine, bud. Uh, he's got another knife for me to do. I know the BK2 is finished, but uh, yeah, these uh, I'll just go in, in each one. And uh, let me just start out. I bought a pry bar um, a while back when he was offering them up and uh, yeah I just told him to wait until uh, you know he was done with the stuff that he was working on with uh, you know with my stuff so but uh, bronze anodized and uh, stone washed just unbelievable detail in that just so sick this is the one I absolutely wanted this is one of the sharper ones of the bunch and uh, it's just a great little tool to have so I uh, cannot be more impressed with that, man. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I was happy to get that. It'll go on my keys. You guys know this is the scale that was on the uh, 550. Um, somebody else's 550. Good old Sally. Uh, now he can see that, uh, you know, there's justice in the world. And so I'll just uh, happily uh, keep his knife with pride and, uh, and just treat it as a trophy. This is a knife that he had, uh, this is all Ryan's work on here. Uh, you know, of course, don't send him anything because you probably never get your stuff back like my stuff. You guys, I have a vid on it. It's called Worst Customer Service. I still don't have my stuff. I sent it to him on August 6th. August 6th, he said it'd be two weeks. So you guys figure that out for yourselves. It's either stolen, you know, or whatever. But now I get to keep his uh, knife as a trophy. You know, who knows? Might sell it down the road. Might give it away in a in a giveaway or something. I think this is a scale that Jeff did, and uh, carbon fiber. It's got like this wavy pattern on it. It's pretty sick. And uh, so, if nothing else, I even have you know. I might just keep the scale and put a regular black scale on it. Whatever, I don't know. The scale's pretty sick in carbon fiber, so. But yeah, this is definitely a trophy of mine. This is what you get for being, this is what I call asshole tax right here, man. That's what I call it. This is asshole tax. So, for being just a piece of shit. So, anyways, get past that. Next up, Spyderco Mule and XHP. This is Mule Team 16. I sent it to him. Uh, originally for um, OD and black car uh, to uh, G10 to uh, do the scales in that but the way he did it originally he didn't like how it turned out they were skinny I had not put a note I had sent some hardware but the hardware was actually for the BK2 so I kind of messed up and didn't put a note he was really cool about it uh, you know I told him I'd pay extra so because he had to wasted material but he didn't waste the material. He actually cut it out and inlaid it in black G10. You guys can see added a little belly to the uh, middle, how it gets a little bit thicker there through the middle. And uh, diamond pattern. Just absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. And this thing just feels awesome in my hand. Just absolutely sick. Cannot be uh, more impressed with this thing. It just came out ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, just super, super excited to get this, man. Just unbelievable. Just crazy. It's been sandblasted. Just the feel of, you know, the scales after they've been sandblasted. Just they feel awesome, man. So I'm going to send this off uh, to uh, Andrew Armadillo Sheath and get a sheath. I'm starting to already get another stack of work for him. I need to send my Huntsman to him too. I have not done that yet. I've been swamped with work. But uh, yeah, that's just crazy. Look at that. Just unbelievable, man. Awesome work, dude. That is just crazy. 
some of the things he thinks of. And of course, you know, if you guys follow on Instagram or, you know, he put up pics of this and then of course he did the video on this stuff. Um, but uh, this one is just ridiculous. The Yojimbo tooth, he calls it. Added the swedge to the front, you can see there. Just now, even better penetrator if you needed to, you know, for th for push cut, you know, for, uh, for thrusting, whatever. It would definitely do some good penetrating now. Um, I, you know, I wasn't uh, opposed to this at all. I told him yes, absolutely. But he, this is 100% him. He added this ridiculous backspacer that is made of N690. It's got the Anzo pattern in it. This is the stuff I just don't think of, guys. I'm a meat and potatoes guy, and, and you know, but he even says, you know, the stuff that I asked for is kind of boring, which it probably is. You know, I don't uh, get too flashy or anything. But this thing is just, it makes me rethink, you know, backspacers and the possibilities and stuff because it's just ridiculous. Just unbelievable how it came out. I mean, that would do some serious damage. Still feels great in reverse. Right there on the right there on the end of it. And uh what I really like about it is that now even if you can't get deployed or whatever, you do have a defensive weapon even without it deploying you could cause some serious damage with that um you know without kubaton without anything else so just unbelievable and uh yeah i cannot be more impressed natural pattern carbon fiber when he originally did this it was really thick i do have you know good sized paws guys and uh you know the thicker ones feel better to me i get better purchase on them these are absolutely perfect they uh once again a little bit more belly through the middle that's also partially because of the pocket clip but they are a little bit thicker through the middle you can see there and uh definitely a uh yeah i love the feel of them but just look at that pattern man this is the first time i've gotten the natural pattern i like it a lot you know i'm uh anzo and uh straight reptilian fan or just any reptilian pattern love the reptilian pattern i think it's sweet but uh yeah natural pattern is definitely very nice i'm i'm just love it this knife might be uh you know i might be getting carried with my regulus all the time now so uh cannot be uh <laughs> cannot be more impressed with this thing man it's unbelievable so you guys saw me post some pictures on my Instagram last night. Got my proud Texas, proud Texan thing going on. So anyways, but uh, yeah, just uh, unbelievable, man. I don't know what to say <laughs> there every time, man. It's like, you know, getting a box of goodies. I was excited the other day and it, you know, it turned out to be that cell phone thing that from my last video. And uh, but then, you know, yesterday it arrived uh, fairly late in the evening. I was working on my project, so I didn't have time to get a vid up. But this is just so sick, man. This is just so sick. I think, uh, yeah, I definitely have a new favorite, Yojimbo. I love the one I got from uh, Minovate also with the Rakus pattern. He did exoskeleton. But uh, yeah, they're both just so sick, man, in their own right. Um, but yeah, I just can't be more impressed with this, how he thought about doing this. And uh, <laughs> just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just so sick, man. Wow. So, what do you say, man? It's just unbelievable. It's different level stuff. So, yeah, I cannot be uh, more impressed with everything that I got. Um, I've gotten so much more stuff in, uh, shipping just all of a sudden got lightning fast and some stuff that I got on Friday came in yesterday. I was really surprised by that, and especially one came all the way from Alaska. So I was, uh, really impressed with that. Um, but yeah, just cannot be more impressed with, uh, everything that I've gotten. Like I said, the BK2 is already finished, uh, just forgot to chuck it in the box and uh and then um i have one more knife that i actually had bought from uh from jeff in a knife sale and uh i was going to do something kind of plain and ordinary and then i decided to send in some extra money and uh 
go for something crazy. So I'm actually thinking about having him do something like this, uh, this bronzing or something in uh, for what I have left over. So that'll give you an idea that it is titanium. So, but uh, yeah, I might go some route like that, but just super impressed all the way around, man. Every single one, the Ojimbo tooth's ridiculous. It's so, I don't even know, I can't even tell you how ridiculous it is. And uh, so, yeah, I just, yeah, I can't be more impressed, man. It was worth the wait, and, uh, you know, it always is. So, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll have another vid up before the end of the week. Um, you know, it might be Friday, whatever, but one way or another, I got lots more stuff in. Um, hopefully, a uh, couple striders to show and some uh, some other stuff. So, but uh, that's it, man. It's all about tough thumbs today. Thank you, bud. I appreciate it. And uh, you guys, everybody have a good week. Uh, and I'll talk to you again real soon.